ATM, I would like to get your response on a call out that you had recently. You and Hancho Blazing ATM. Now, let me get your comments on the call. Finally, ATM has come back to Cumberland, Kentucky. Now, before you ask your question, your idiotic question, let me explain something to you. First of all, you don't knock at my door. ATM is literally almost completely half naked. So I have to hurry up and get my red towel, cover myself up and say I'll be out in a minute and you still have the audacity to come in even though I'm still naked let me ask you something James Livington what in the blue idiotic world is wrong with you Oh, okay, I bet you ain't never seen nothing huge or big like ATM. Oh, well, you know, ATM gets real lucky and real and is very blessed. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Now, first of all, onto this insolent... ATM was in his room, was in the kitchen, fixing him some pancakes and sausage because he didn't feel like going to a restaurant to eat breakfast today. So I'm in the kitchen, fixing some pancakes and sausage, giving me almost a half a bottle of orange juice. And then I get my syrup, I get my knife, I smooth in my pancakes real well. And I smooth in them and put some syrup on it. And not the ugly kind of syrup that you get at the dollar store. But the real great syrup in the ancient mama syrup. I get that kind of syrup. Because you know, when you're from Florida, you got to have the best syrup in the world. You got to have the best syrup in the country. And there's no other best syrup than the ancient mama syrup. And I was in the process of fixing breakfast. I just got done fixing breakfast, was getting ready to sit down and eat, and then my cousin hits me up and says, ATM, you might want to say something about this. And unfortunately, Pancho is sick, and he will not may be able to make it to you, Pikes, GM, Friday at 8 p.m. But that doesn't mean they can't be a substitute. And it won't be a... Sorry about that, Mr. James Slimpton. That was the president of Cuba calling me and saying that my family has made it all right. And my family has arrived. Even though my family is from Colorado, they went to Cuba for an all expensive trip when they won on the show Let's Make a Deal. And may I remind you, Let's Make a Deal is hosted by truly the one and only great Wayne Brady. So check Wayne Brady out at Let's Make a Deal every week at 3 p.m. on CBS. Your family's from Colorado, but they travel to Cuba. Now, before ATM was so really interrupted by that phone call, which... Anytime you get a phone call from your boss, you always answer the phone call because it is something important. If your boss calls you, it's something important. So you want to call. But now, before ATM had that phone call, 
let me just get back to what I was saying. And let me just fast forward to what I was saying. Like I was saying, I was smoothing my pancakes. I was getting them all ready and everything. But then my cousin said that you got, you might want to respond. And like I said, I won't, Poncho would not be able to make it to you pike on Friday. But ATM will be in Pikeville on Monday. So if you want to check me out at Pikeville, you can on Monday. And before that, I heard a big old a segment. I heard a segment from three Rudy Poos that just couldn't keep their mouth shut. Now, you see, you see, let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you. You see, now ATM knows this Rudy Pooh off of the Storage Wars, the Taylor Brothers Storage Wars, who thinks he has a shot at being on Storage Hunters, but instead will be on the Storage Brubos. And you see, ATM knows this person, Willie Robertson's brother, Jake Robertson. Except he is not Jake Robinson, he is Scott Van Pelt's cousin from Nigeria. But you see, ATM knows these two people. But, in ATM, everybody knows ATM. Everybody knows him and him. Everybody knows the people. But you see, there's one person that ATM does not know. And ATM does not know the Pillsbury Doughboy right here. So, James Limington, let me ask you something. What do you think about the Pillsbury Doughboy man? Well, you mean I mean my uh, re my uh, my comments are the Pillsbury Dolls Boy Man. It doesn't matter what you think about the Pillsbury Dolls Boy Man. The only thing that matters is that anybody can be the Pillsbury Dolls Boy Man. Anybody can be the Taylor Brother Storage Hunter Brother. Anybody can be Jake Robertson. Anybody. Rachel Starr could be Jake Robertson. The Rock. John Cena can be Jake Robertson. LeBron James can be the Pillsbury Doughs Boy Man. Mario Chalmers could be the Taylor Brothers. And even you, James Lemonton, could be the Storage Man. Hold on, say, hold on. Hey, 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 what, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Turn around. Turn around right now, James Lemington. What are you doing? Turn, turn around. Oh, hey, team, up, shove this up your throat so hard, you will be stick it. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. Congratulations, congratulations. Mr. James Slimington is now. Come here closer. Come here closer. James Slimington is now the Pillsbury Doe's Boy Man. Smile, Pillsbury Doe's Boy Man! And wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Oh no, oh no. And now you are officially the member of the Pillsbury Dolls Boy family. Get the stepping.
Yeah, Mr. Jake Robinson, Mr. Pillsbury Doys Boy Man, and Mr. Taylor Brunner off Storage Hunters. You want to see perfection. You want to see the body. You want to see a great reflex of direction. Well, here it is right here. Mr. ATM. The big triceps and biceps. And also, perfect body right here. And also, a one of a kind. And do you know where ATM has been? And boys, it's real simple. You want a piece of ATM? Well, you come get a piece of ATM. Mr. Jake Robertson, Mr. Taylor, brother off of Storage Hunters, and Mr. Pillsbury Doe's boy, man.